I apologize for not having a video out Monday uh, what's old but I was sick this weekend and I didn't want to do it we'll have one next week for sure but today we're at the bins look who's here blamo Monique we're at the bins let's go see what we find all right let's get digging and see if we find anything good here what is this what is that for some uh, Lady Gaga action right there crazy beautiful it looks like a boot, it looks like a bootleg movie. Let's see what else we got I was looking at something over here where is it <laughs> looks like a it's a Tyco track there's a bunch of pieces here but I wonder what this is for there's even this piece here that has, has the, the guns. Remember these? Remember these tracks? And it has the power adapter too. I wonder what that's for. But these are the only pieces I see. I gotta look that up and see if, um, see what all, that's all about. I'm not gonna take it, but I'm interested in knowing what it is. So, Tyco TCR. Definitely. Whoops, I dropped you guys. Definitely going to look that up and see what that is. Hot wheels. If I had the space, I would take that, but I don't got space for that big thing right now. Ooh. -hoo. I think Monique would like that. We'll probably show that to her a little bit later. So I'm going to show you uh, my half of the haul, my portion. So I got a few uh, hard goods. I found this cool like handmade wooden plaque. It's like a butterfly or something. It's really cool and it says it was made in 1977 by Merrill Bay. I don't know. Someone made it. So I thought that was cool. You can hang it up on your wall. And then I was excited to find this McCoy um, little coffee cup, teacup, whatever. And it has the strawberry print on there. And I have some pieces by McCoy already in my strawberry collection. So I grabbed this. Unfortunately, I only found one. So I went ahead and picked it up anyway because I'm going to run. I, I, um, so I went ahead and picked it up anyway because I wanted to rescue it from the bins because it's just going to get broken or, or I feel like nobody would buy it because it's a single cup. Um, and then we came across this collection. It's not complete. It's 1, 2, 6, 8, and 10. But it's um, of this character. I recognize the character. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I think it's Doraemon. Gadget Cat from the Future. 
So I'll show you like what he looks like. So in case you're not familiar, that's what he looks like. He's right there. So I thought these were cool. You know, on these ones you have to read them from right to left. So hopefully those sell. This thing right here. That's awesome. That's cool. Let's knock out these t-shirts right, right away because you know I got t-shirts. Uh, Yellowstone National Park. Nice cool little T here. Has a cool little graphic. Salt Life uh, long sleeve shirt. Design on the back. Fish are hot. Uh, Key West, Florida. Little bootleg Billie Eilish shirt right here. Uh, this is a long sleeve. Um, it says Stumpy's Grand Granberry, Texas. Samuel Adams long sleeve shirt. Bubba Gump uh, hoodie. It's a pretty nice hoodie too. Uh, Destin, Florida. It's a nice condition also. Another Salt Life t-shirt here. The Last Frontier, Alaska. Pink t-shirt and... Um, Florida State University, what are, are what are they called? Seminoles? Sem, sem, am I thinking of something else? Yeah, Seminole, right? Is it? Yeah, FSU. I'm all confused now. Anyways, we got that one. And it has that on the back. Cool Halloween shirt. We got to get that up quick. Got to get it up today. That's a cool one right there. Pagosa Springs, Colorado. Some nice embroidery right there. Pensacola Beach, Florida. Some cool tie dye. Heinemann and Savage. Uh, Mythbusters. This must be a bootleg shirt. Experts of Dangerous. Because it says myth, myth, doesn't say Mythbusters anywhere. Um, yeah, pick that up. And then, <laughs> this is so funny. Joe Exotic 2020. Make America Exotic again. This was hilarious. I saw it and had to pick it up. That is familiar. If you don't remember who Joe Exotic is, he is the Tiger King. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, uh, this uh, Blue Creek uh, Lure Company. No, Newport Blue. And it has like lures on it. So it's a pretty cool shirt. Somebody goes fishing, might like that. Cub Scouts, Fort Worth, Texas, running with the pack. I thought that was a cool little graphic there. Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, Orlando. Galveston Island, Texas. A little bling on there right there. <clears throat> um, Oregon. Nike shirt. 2012 uh, Rose Bowl champions. Hooking ain't easy. Another little fishing graphic right there. That's pretty cool because the fish is like, it's like flowers inside. So that's pretty nice. It's on a um, Bella canvas tag. That's pretty cool though. And then a Magellan tank top right there. Let's see what's everybody over here going crazy for? interesting this is a tiny Pez dispenser huh see that that's pretty cool let's 
There's a bunch of pen dispensers in here. We're looking for the ones with no feet though. Goes another bag. clothing items I found this letterman jacket is it is it a letter I don't know um this is a cheerleading one so it belonged to a cheerleader and on the arm it has patches from 2000 to 2002 um I like the color it's like really nice it looks like at one point they did dry clean it I do have to depill it though it's a little fuzzy in some areas but it's just really cool it's really nice and then I found a couple aprons. I found this one. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. And it looks like it's made from like a, a towel material. It does have like some damage to it. But it's not like going all the way through the fabric. So I'm going to see if I could fix it. But I thought it was cute. It's very like harvesty. You know it would be like perfect for um, Thanksgiving. And then I found a plain yellow one. It's really dainty and it just has like a little white stripe down here. But it's really nice. And the other two aprons that I had in my booth are already sold. So we'll see if those sell also. This is the last apron I picked up. It's really cool. It's like a checkered green and white pattern. It has a little pocket here. And then it kind of has like these little... I don't know what they would be like a little windmill or something but it's really nice next is this very long 100% silk dress and it has buttons all the way down the front they're those like shiny shell buttons it has shoulder pads and let me see if I could give you like a, a button close-up button detail it's really cute I couldn't find anything wrong with it so I grabbed it just got a plain um, black um, slip for underneath like a skirt and it does have a slit on the side and this is vintage. I found this uh, Banana Republic little top. It kind of like looks like silk but I don't think it is silk. But I just like the, like the fabric and I like that the straps are kind of like ribbon. Like fabric ribbon and then it has like really cute... Um, lace at the bottom. It's really cute. And then I found this uh, lace top and it's cool because it has like these, I don't, these buttons always remind me of like uh, what you would see like on a wedding dress. Um, I'm pretty sure it's vintage. The tag is missing and it's pretty crunchy and a little stained. Well it's pretty stained but I didn't want to leave it there so I picked it up. There's a little close-up. I didn't finish buttoning it. I found this top. Um, the tag actually says Fort Worth, Texas. It looks like it was dry cleaned. And I want to say this is like something for something you'd wear for like a performance or something. I just thought it was interesting. It's pretty clean. And it even has like these interesting little ventilation areas on the armpit. Uh, um, in case you get too sweaty and then it has the buttons down the back I don't know I thought it was interesting we'll see if it sells maybe for Halloween I don't know I thought this one was interesting too because it's like really funky and I thought maybe it would be someone's taste it has like a bunch of little rhinestone type things down the front and then the sleeves are kind of like they're kind of like lace they're like see through I don't know if you'll be able to tell but yeah, I mean, I saw this other um, Depop seller picking up stuff like this, like these grandma shirts. And she says they sell good for her, so I wanted to try it out. It does have a little snag right here. 
but I'm hoping I could fix that. So they're trying to sell it for um, $2.29 at Goodwill. I found this black Oakley polo and it says like Oakley on the little buttons and then it just says Oakley on the top uh, across the shoulders here in the back. A little men's top. Next is this in and out top. It has a little in and out sign on the front. And then the back has a cool graphic with like the old school cars. Thought it was pretty cool. It's in good shape. I got a Vans women's cut t-shirt. It says Vans on the bottom corner there. And then the back has a cool like almost like 3D looking picture with the red and blue uh, skulls wearing the feather headdresses. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool v-neck. I found this random gray Leonard Skinner t-shirt. The graphic is a little bit cracked but it kind of like goes with it. It's missing a tag and it doesn't have a printed tag that I could tell. I don't think so. So I don't know. I thought maybe you know someone who's a fan might want that. And then the last item I'll show you guys is this cool like tiki Hawaiian cool like um, whatchamacallit Hawaiian shirt. Yeah button up Hawaiian shirt. It has like wooden buttons and it has a cool print and it's like a nice light blue color and it has like other little designs in there like turtles and all kinds of stuff and this one it might be vintage because it's made in USA. Yeah, it's vintage. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty clean. I think it only has like one little stain on it that we have to wash out. All right, and then something I did today, I started picking up some hats. So let's check out some of the hats I've got. I got this one right here. It is Royal Ascot. Large, 100% wool, made in USA. It's pretty nice. So we got that. I don't know the name of this type of hat. Let me know in the comments. Little TCU baseball cap. We got a Bass Pro Shop. Um, Playful Porcupine Lodge. Poking around. Bass Pro Shop. Adidas hat. Uh, <clears throat> best Scout Mom ever. So we got that. We got this shirt. Uh, this one that says Gang Gang. It's a pretty nice little hat, and I hear I hear the youngins, the young ones saying that a lot, gang gang. And then this cool Joe Myers uh, Ford um, hat, Houston, Texas, Ford Myer, Joe Myers uh, dealership. We got this one here, Hustler Power Boats, twenty one, blackjack. Got this cool one, propane, propane, the clear alternative. This is a newer hat. But it's like it's a nice condition, so I picked it up. And <clears throat> I've been watching some new uh, YouTubers, reseller reselling YouTubers. So I've been kind of, you know, learning some stuff because I'm, I'm I've actually been doing different things uh, with my eBay right now. Um, I've been, uh, yeah, I've been, I'm, I'm trying new stuff, so that's why I'm getting a lot of the stuff here. And then I got these. Uh, Ben E. Keith hats here. I figure I'd make a lot right there. We got these two. And this one's green. This one's black. This one's kind of like the plain one. And then we got this. What color is that? Uh, like a fluorescent orange or something. And we got this little hat with like a little pig face on it. Uh, Pucka headwear or Puka headwear? I'm not sure. And then a Papa John's Texas Rangers like promo hat. So we got that.
whole bunch of letters here. I think if you have one of those uh, boards that you can spell stuff out in. Ooh, that's cool. Did we see this already? That's a cool uh, Jeep right there. There's a lot of cool uh, remote control cars out here today. Here's a battery pack. That looks like it's corroded. So I think we're getting ready to leave here. Um, we're gonna check, I'm gonna check a couple more bins and then we're gonna head home. We got a lot of stuff, we got a lot of stuff to show you guys. Some non clothing items I got this cool Garfield I thought he was really cool and he's in nice condition BCOC I'm not sure what that is but he is vintage 1981 he's a year older than me but I thought he was really cool uh, I got this Kansas City Chiefs um, little team bear that's kind of cool and then found the I found the R.L. Stein book in the bins. Fear Street Super Chiller R.L. Stein Silent Night Two. So I thought that was cool. I had to pick that up. And then it was probably my favorite find. I found this um, little uh, what's his name Cuckoo the Coco Coco Bird. A little tiny pen dispenser. That thing is awesome. I've never seen these before. And this is from 2001. So I guess we could say it's vintage, right? <clears throat> and um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if this one maybe came in a cereal, in the cereal. Maybe it was a cereal premium. I don't know. If you're familiar with that, let me know. But I thought that was pretty cool. He's going to go into my little display. That's awesome. All right, guys, so that's it for this haul. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Everybody say hi to Monique down in the comments. Welcome back. It's been like five years since you've been on a video. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but did you have a good time with the bins today? Yeah, it was cool. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, so thanks for watching. Like, comment, and what else? Subscribe. Subscribe. See you guys on the next video.